Here we are going into the overnight hours, mainly a northwesterly wind that's going to be coming much lighter, be becoming much lighter during the overnight. So the winds will not be as gusty. And as we get less stirring in the atmosphere, that'll allow those temperatures to really bottom out. Tomorrow afternoon, mostly cloudy and the chance for some flurries, especially near the lakefront. Once you get into Racine County, uh, Kenosha County, and Milwaukee County, and even a sliver there of Ozaki County, you could see a few flurries flying, especially once you get into places like Grafton. That's just going to be very briefly a brief window of opportunity to see that between about 2 o'clock and 4 o'clock in the afternoon. But we will kick off your Tuesday morning with a few peaks of sunshine. After that, the clouds will continue to stick around and we'll get those flurries pushing in near the lakefront towards the afternoon. Wind chill values, they're to be into the single digits for tonight and tomorrow morning, but starting to improve as we head towards the afternoon hours and even better as we get into Wednesday, because that's when we'll be seeing those temperatures above the freezing mark. So what can we expect as we go throughout uh, the next 10 days here? So we'll actually see those temperatures above where you would expect them to be for this time of the year. They're going to be climbing above average. This time of the year average is 33. So we could possibly even see some 40s, possibly 50s heading towards Christmas. So if you're hoping for a white Christmas, just stay tuned. We'll have to see if that'll happen. 17 though for tonight, back up to 34 tomorrow with some scattered flurries, mainly near the lakefront. And we'll continue this trend of sub freezing temperatures during the nighttime hours and temperatures in the thirties in the afternoon. Flurries tomorrow and Wednesday and a chance for a rain snow mix for the first half of the weekend. We'll be right back.